Hey guys, right today I'm going to be doing these gorgeous mermaid nails using shellac and additives and then stamping on the top. So if you want to know how I recreated these then stay tuned. Okay for this look you're going to be needing first of all CND shellac in hot ski which is a gorgeous mermaid colour anyway I think. And then you're going to be needing some additives. And here I've got Sizzling Sand, Pink Gold Sparkle, and Blue Heaven. So those are the three I'm going to be using today. And then I'm also going to be using these tiny, tiny hex glitters. And I've got them in like a darker blue and a sort of turquoisey blue. And I bought these off eBay in a pack of about 12 for oh, about one ninety nine. so if you have a look on there just put hex glitters in the um, search and I'm sure they'll come up and then I'm obviously going to be stamping over the top and I'm going to be using this plate today which is the cheeky um, gals plate and it's GA14 and it'll be this plate here and I'm going to be stamping with Barry M um, foil effects in silver and using my usual Moyu stamper and Conad scraper. Okay, so what I've done, I've got two coats of hot ski on my nails, cured, so the tacky layer is still on there. There's no top coat on there at the moment. And then what I'm gonna do is go in with a dotting tool. I've got a tiny bit of top coat here, decanted, just to pick up my um, bits of hex glitters. So what I'll do, I'll do a few nails to show you, then I'll finish them off camera. So I'm just going to dip a bit into my top coat and this will let me pick up some glitters on the end. And then all you're going to do is press them into the tacky layer like this. And you want to cover the whole nail with glitters. And what I will say is you, what you don't want is any sticking up or on the end here because if you've got any clients that like to pick then that is a perfect opportunity for them to do that so that's all you're going to do is fill the nail up with little hex glitters and just check in that you've got none on the end so hopefully you can see that and it really does look like sort of mermaid scales. So that's the first stage. So what I'll do, I'll go and do the rest and then I'll come back. Okay, so I finished that hand now. And what I meant by doing the whole nail was rather than, you know, one part of it, do the whole nail, but leave tiny spaces in between for um, because they were going to be putting additives over the top. And... I've just got a little gel brush here and you can use this just to pat them down where any is sticking up and and then you can just check from the side I can see I've got one poking up there and any that are on the side walls or on the end then just try and remove those with the gel brush okay but I think I'm happy with the um, coverage on those so what we're going to do is go on to the additives so you just need a little brush to apply them with <clears throat> I'm going to go in with Pink Gold Sparkle first, and we're literally just going to pat it on to start with, like this. So I'm just going to do all the nails here now, and just pat really, really randomly. Because I want this to sort of emanate a, a mermaid's tail, so I want it to have pink and blue hues. Well, I'm not going to do anything with that at the moment. I'm just going to add my second one in now, which is Blue Heaven. And then just press it into the bits that you've got left randomly. Like that. And then I'm going to take Sizzling Sand just for a bit of added glitter. And with Sizzling Sand, take quite a bit on your brush. And then we're just going to rub this in like this. 
And any bits of hex glitter that falls off, that's fine, because that means it wasn't meant to be there in the first place, so... Take a bit more. But this will meld in with the blue heaven and the pink gold sparkle as well. So really burnish those in. And you can see it's really starting to take on the um, sort of mermaid scaly tail look at the moment. Right, so once you're happy with the coverage, I'm just going to go in and top coat those now. Okay, so I've top coated those and they look really, really shimmery. So and what I'm going to do now is stamp over the top so I get my stuff ready and I'll come okay, back. Okay, so I'm using, as I said, the Barry M Silver. I did try white over these on a test, um, a test colour pop, but it... The silver melds in a lot nicer than... the white just looks a bit too harsh, so I'm going to be using silver. But you can obviously use whatever colour you want. So I'm just going to put that on there. Scrape off the excess. Pick up the image like that. And then... Just go across like that. So that's how it looks. Really nice. And you can see those bits of glitter sparkling through with the additives as well, it looks really lovely. Right, so I'll show you another one and then I'll do the rest. So just clean off the plate, clean off the stamper in between each stamp. And as I said, I can't rave about this polish enough. It's just so good to stamp with, really good. Picks up really well. So I'm gonna get that and Roll it over, and there you go. Right, so I'll do the rest, and then I'll come Okay, back. I've top-coated those now. What I was going to show you is how I do the clean-up around the edges. Um, and I use a acetone uh, dispenser, and I just pull some acetone in uh, the lid, get some on, like, a Q-tip, and then all I do is rub around the edges just to get the extra bit of polish off. So this is after I've top coated and the inhibition removed. So I find if I do it before, I actually rub off the design and then get annoyed with myself that I've done that. So that's all you do. Rub all the bits of polish off. And then just to sort of rehydrate your nails, I just use a bit of CND solar oil. And massage it in. So I'll just quickly do that to show you. Just to rehydrate them because acetone is really, really drying. And there we go. So those are the finished nails and these look really sparkly in person. But I love rather than just one colour underneath, you've got the depth with the bits of glitter and the additives on there as well. I think it looks really, really nice. And this would be lush for holidays or um, on toes. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this, guys. Um, I'm on Instagram if you wanted to find me on there. I'm at the real Mrs. Grey. And yeah, thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.